Hello and welcome back to Ross Taylor Woodworks. Uh, this time I've got a uh, sort of a late Empire Sheraton uh, chest of drawers. Um, it's all mahogany veneer. Uh, most of it's made of pine uh, with mahogany veneer uh, on all the surfaces. Now it's sort of a late Empire. It's got these OG drawers. And it's also got some Sheraton details with the paneled sides. Now I've been able to date this uh, somewhere around 1860, 1870. Uh, it's got these box joints or finger joints on the drawers. So this was made in some sort of a factory uh, where they had the machines to uh, make these joints. And as I said, it's uh, all uh, pine uh, with mahogany veneer uh, covering all the surfaces. Now it was brought in here, um, they had a strap around it uh, to hold it together, uh, but I tried to move it a little bit and it uh, just kind of started to fall apart. So this has to be uh, completely taken apart. Uh, I'm going to number all the parts first. Uh, the top is just nailed on. Uh, I can just pop that off and then just take all the sides apart. And then I'll uh, have to strip all the uh, parts. Uh, it needs to be completely redone. And then I'll bring it back up here. Uh, into the uh, shop, uh, reassemble it, do all the veneer repair, and then move on to the uh, refinishing. All right, now I'm gonna start uh, taking it apart. I uh, have to get the back panel out. There's some nails that are holding the panel in. I have to kind of wiggle it out. Now before I take the rails out, I'm going to mark them, take an awl and just uh, make one, and then number two, then number three. Now the top is nailed down, so I'm just going to pop that off. It was not nailed originally, it was nailed down at a later time. Some wire nails were put in to nail the top down at some point, so I'm going to get those out. Okay, I've got the chest of drawers back up in the shop here. Uh, I've since got it stripped down. Well, it was all disassembled. That was easier to do it that way. Uh, it's all nice and clean. Now I have to start addressing the repairs. Uh, there's a lot of veneer repair on these uh, little brackets. And all over the whole chest, there's uh, a lot of veneer repair. Uh, but the major issue with these sides is uh, this one side has a very badly broken panel. A uh, bad split right here, and then there's another crack right here. And this rail is all split out here. So it's taken me a couple weeks to uh, come up with a game plan to uh, tackle this. And I'll show you the uh, solution I came up with. Alright, what I've decided to do is to uh, replace this whole panel. Um, I looked at this uh, closely and decided it was just too badly damaged right here to try to do patching. And this rail it needs to be repaired. So the better solution here is to uh, just take the whole panel out and replace it. So I needed uh, some type of mahogany wood, either veneer or solid wood, to replace the panel with. And I did not have anything on hand to uh, replace this. I've got mahogany veneer, but not enough to, not a big enough piece to do this. So I searched on eBay for a week or two and came up with uh, this piece of mahogany. Uh, it's a beautiful piece of mahogany. Uh, it's a quarter inch thick. And it's about 47 inches long uh, by nine inches wide. I'm gonna cut it and uh, join it together in the middle, uh, laminate it to some pine so it'll be like a veneered panel, just like the original panel. 
except the veneer will be a quarter inch thick instead of uh, whatever the original thickness of the veneer is. There's no way to take the uh, frame apart. It's too solidly glued together to take apart. So what I have to do is uh, just cut the panel out. I'm going to take a saw and cut the panel out. Just take it out and have a uh, an overlap on the bottom here. Cover that with a new strip right here. And then there's going to be a little bit of a gap on the side here. I'll have to support it from the back side with a uh, cleat. And then I'm going to add a bead molding all the way around to hide the edge of the panel. Alright, now I'm getting set up to uh, route out the damaged section of the rail. I set up a straight edge. I'm just going to set it a little bit deeper and make one more pass. Now on the back side, uh, there was a small cleat that was added at some point to support the panel. I'm going to take that out. Now I'm going to cut the panel out. I'm going to use the oscillating saw and go up along the edge. And start breaking the panel out. Going to make another cut going up along the original split. Now I didn't quite cut this deep enough. So I ended up uh, breaking the panel out. Now I'm going to start uh, making the panel. Uh, I milled up some pine as a backer. I'm going to laminate the mahogany to the pine. When I glue this up, I want one edge uh, flush. I'm gluing the panel in two halves at first, and then I'll join them together later. Now I'm going to roll on the glue so I can get a nice even coat. I have to work quickly. Now when I clamp these up, I'm going to put them face to face. and then get it clamped up quickly. Once again, make sure one edge is even on each panel. Okay, after the glue dried, I'm going to get the panels out of the clamps. Now there's the two halves of the panel, and the next step is to glue them together. But first I have to plane it to thickness. Uh, it's right now it's about one inch thick, so I want to bring it down to about three quarters of an inch. So I'm going to take some off the back side. Okay, now it's about three quarters of an inch thick. Now on the uh, face side, I'm going to sand that. So I'm going to run it through the drum sander a few times to get that nice and clean. Now when I glued the panels up, I made sure one edge was even on both panels. So now I'm going to join those two edges together. First I have to joint them. So a couple passes through the jointer. Now they're ready to glue up.
making sure they're even on the ends. Make sure the uh, face is even. Okay, let that dry. Now I'm going to get that out of the clamps. I'm going to scrape the glue off the back. Now I'm going to sand the face side, even up the joint. I've got some 80 grit paper in the random orbit sander. Now I've got to rip it for width. Now I'm going to joint one edge. Then over to the table saw and rip it to width. Then use the cross cut sled to cut it to length, first squaring up one end. Then using a piece of the old panel, mark it for length. And do a quick dry fit. Now the next step is to glue that new strip on the bottom edge, on that bottom rail. First I have to make the notch a little bit deeper. Now the strip for this came off of the uh, mahogany board that I bought. I've got some boards set up to help hold it straight. Now I'm ready to glue it up. Okay, I've got the uh, panel sanded to 120 and it's ready to go in. Now I'll do a, I did a, a quick sketch to uh, show you what I'm doing here. Now the original panel was about uh, 3 8 to 7 16 inch thick. And it had a tongue on the end that fit into a quarter inch groove. But I had to take the panel out and cut it right here and uh, get this piece out and take the whole panel out. Now the new panel can't fit into that groove because I couldn't take the uh, frame apart. So the new panel is going to sit flush with the side here since I couldn't take the frame apart to get the panel in. I have to kind of slide the panel in. So it's going to sit flush here and there's going to be just like a very tiny gap right here. So we can cover that with a molding going to make a bead molding here to cover that little space. Now on the back side, um, the new panel is about three quarters of an inch thick. So to prevent any binding, I made a, a relief right here. So there's a little space right here. So if the panel swells, the panel can float into that groove a little bit. And then to hold the panel in place, I'm going to put a cleat on the back side here. So the whole panel will be held in with cleats. So here's the relief cut on the back, just about um, 3 16 of an inch. Then across the entire back I made some tiny relief cuts about an eighth inch deep, just to relieve any stress on the back side to prevent any cupping. Okay, now I'm going to fit my cleats in. I have to slide them in from under the bottom here.
round headed screw about an inch and a half long. Okay, originally there was a groove on the top and the bottom as well, but that uh, split out when the panel was uh, caved in. So this is all split out on the back side here. So what I'm going to do is substitute another cleat. I'm going to install another cleat here. Once again, this groove was broken out on the back side here. So the panel is just loose here. And this new panel is about three quarters of an inch thick. Once again, the original panel had a tongue here that fit into a groove, and that was broken out. So I have to hold the panel uh, in. So I made this cleat. Uh, it's about two and a half inches wide, uh, three quarters of an inch thick. And it's flat here, and then slightly tapered up. And it meets the panel about half inch up. So when I installed it, I made sure it was just slightly tipped up so when I tightened the screws down it would uh, clamp down onto the panel and hold it in place and then uh, allow it to float. I'm going to slide the cleat in, line it up with those marks. Okay, here's what the two sides look like uh, side by side. Once again, the original panel was veneered all the way across with one sheet of veneer. And this is two boards, but it looks pretty much identical. And from one side to the other, you're not going to notice the difference. Now, as stated earlier, there's a little bit of a gap right here since I had to slide the panel in. So I'm going to cover that with a little bead molding. Now I'm going to come back later and do that after I do all the uh, veneer repair. There's a little chip right here. I'm going to repair that and all the other veneer repairs. I got to clean up this little piece at the bottom that I added.